All right, here's what we're buzzing about at News Beast. We've got Blago going to the pokey, but first, our cheats. Mark, what you got? Alec Baldwin, Air Raid. I felt a little sympathy. Really? Yeah. Have you ever been thrown off a plane? I haven't been thrown off a plane yet. Uh, I have gotten a little mad. And I think the reason why you get so mad, well, A, it's ridiculous that you have to turn off your phone because we know it doesn't do anything. And B, conditions are so awful on planes that everyone is just, you know, an inch away from going postal. And, and but, I mean, I, look, I'm a big 30 Rock fan, but he, it sounds like he sort of acted like a petulant tool. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He did. I thought we decided this yesterday. I, I, you know, but we didn't have Mark's opinion. Oh, we had to take it into account. That's the, that's the big. Getting up and stomping your way to the, you know, the toilet and slamming the door so hard. Never a good move. Pilots thought maybe a hijacking was in progress. It's just really been a bad true. run of it for American Airlines. First bankruptcy <laughs> and now Alec Baldwin. Yeah. I just the two feel, roughly. I feel sad for them. I flew American the other day and it was a delightful experience. Yeah. <laughs> I did as well. Thank you, American. Thank you. Rebecca, what you got? I'm going to talk about Sandusky, which is just such an awful story and getting so much worse. Of course, he was arrested yesterday and couldn't make bail um, as new accusations, uh, new, n new alleged two victims new kids, yeah. come forward with just awful stories. And, and I think the worst part, if you can say that there's a worst part, is that one of these alleged victims said that he was locked in the basement and was screaming. And, and knew that the wife was upstairs. Yeah, and so and so, a, a, attention needs to move now to all of the people who are complicit in this. I mean, the wife, I'm dying to hear from this woman. I mean, just right. what was going on through her head the last 20 or 30 years. And then also, you know, back to Joe Paterno. The, the Daily actually had a story this weekend about how he was in a financial deal with Second Mile. And so now he has, now we have evidence that he had really materially something to lose in his decision to cover this up. And I just think there's so much blame to go around here. And I, I hope to see so many more people behind bars without bail. Yeah, without bail. That, that the fact that he was walking around for so long it's even just, after we knew this is it's so uh, disgusting. The disgusting aspect of it. Crazy. Um, Newt's sister says, oh, vote for boy. Obama. Come on now. So Candace Gingrich Jones uh, famously came out when her brother was Speaker of the House. Now she's saying, you know what, got a lot of mutual respect, but he's on the wrong side of history with gay rights, so I'm voting for Obama. You know what it reminds me of? One of the first stories that the Daily Beast broke right after we launched in 2008 a relative of John McCain, some woman who's like 103, I forget if she was his aunt or something else, but she came out and said, I like that Barack Obama guy. I think he's got potential. <laughs> he's got Although moxie. It's not that much of a surprise that right. Candace is, you know. She did say that Callista and Newt sent she and her partner a very nice gift when they got married, but they didn't attend the wedding. It's like a Dick Cheney kind of thing. Well, it's Dick no, 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 no. Dick Cheney stands by his daughter. Dick I mean, Cheney is, well, his daughter's... is for marriage rights. Yeah, he is. He is, which I, I give him a lot of credit for. Um, let's talk about our obsessional, Blago. I mean, I think if you look at the history of the Obama administration, the guilt starts to come off the lily right when Blago gets, in, you know, busted for trying to sell the president-elect Senate seat in that creepily Chicago way. I'm going to just quote from the, uh, the the transcripts. I've got this thing, and it's effing golden, and I'm just not going to give it up for effing nothing because I'm not sure if I can say fucking on air. So, here's, here, here's... Oh, John. Oh, golly. So, uh, now 14 years. He's got an 8-year-old, a 15-year-old. Is this justice served, or is this a little too it's much? It's totally Mark? justice. I don't think, you know, uh, these people who are saying, you know, this is way too much, this is an outrage, you know, I'm, I think it's fine. Maybe even more should have been given to him. I mean, someone who commits a crime against one person, that's a terrible thing. He committed a crime against an entire state, is subverting democracy. Everyone complains about corruption and, and uh, ineffectual Congress. It's this kind of behavior that leads to that kind of uh, a situation in Congress, and it needs to be punished harshly. I he tried to sell the yeah. president-elect's Senate seat. In, in the most impressively crass, like, like given used car it's salesman, a bad name kind of way. What blows my mind is also, all. what the hell is going on with Illinois? Four of their past governors have been indicted and gone to jail in, like, my lifetime. Yeah. Like, what the isn't hell's this, going on with that isn't state? Isn't it maybe that we should look at it that it's not that something is going on with Illinois, it's that this is Illinois. Right, this, this, is this, this isn't corruption, this, this is, is political way. culture. I just yeah. say, not a word in, in Blago's defense, but rather just sort of in support of the Blago phenomenon. <laughs> I'm hoping, um, I'm really hoping we can get a reality show out of this. because We how, already did. No, you want more? I, I, oh. want, I want behind, behind Blago, bars. behind bars. Oh, or do you, want, do you want the family on the outside? Show me the broadcast network that can make 
make this happen, and, and I will show you a new loyal viewer. Somewhere out there, there's an agent who can help <laughs> redeem the Blagojevich family's promise. <laughs> Final word, Mark. What's your summing up of the wisdom you've taken away from the Blagojevich experience? <laughs> It has to be one word. Yeah, it's yeah, or really but you can hyphen. I hyphen context, sometimes. But we do it. Um, uh, I was going to say justified, but then I wanted more of a play on hair, and I can't, I can't come up with one. By the way. <laughs> justified is nice. I think that works. I'm going to subvert the system again, and instead of a word, I'm going to do a hand gesture, which is what Blago did to his fans. Okay, is as that he allowed? Was, it is. Anything it is allowed, now. Man, okay. I run this. We're keeping show. it loose. Um, and and the hand gesture is this. What does that mean in it this means, context? It means I'm okay. <laughs> That's I'm Blago and I'm going away for 14 years, but I'm okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coin your turn, shame mean. I think that's what he's going to have. The hair. Are you jealous? <laughs> I am so <laughs> jealous. Yeah. I gave you the idea. You did. And it just took, it just, it's, it was a joint third man venture. on a match. There you go. All right. All right we'll see you tomorrow. Be it from us. <laughs> you need to wrap this thing. <laughs>